I trust. I trust. I trust. I trust. Simply neighbor. Good morning, everybody. Welcome again to another series of Simply Heal with Simply Nature. And again, today, we are very honored to have our wonderful Dr. Joel. Uh, and we are all familiar with Dr. Joel. He's from his clinic is in Centuria Medical City. Uh, medical center is J. Lopez Medical Group. And we are very glad to have Dr. Joel. The last time Dr. Joel was on our program, he had the highest, one of the highest viewers and ratings. So, Dr. Joel, we are looking forward to also another great session with you today. Good morning, Dr. Joel. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Good. Uh, doc, today, everybody, today our topic is going to be on something that is so important to all uh, Filipinos, which is diabetes. Okay? And uh, for all our viewers in throughout Asia, uh, diabetes uh, is a big issue among Southeast Asian countries. So, today we're going to cover all the wonderful topics. Uh, we're going to try and finish everything in 30 minutes. We're going to give a take a look on on, my, on the site here. These are the topics we're going to cover today. All right, we're going to talk about the myths of diabetes, the truth of what sugar, what is sugar, and how do you, what's the best way to measure sugar. You know, um, we're going to talk about diabetic drugs because a lot of a lot of us are on uh, maintenance drugs, right? Metformin and so on and so forth. So Dr. Joel is here. is going to give you a great idea of how drugs play a role in your management of diabetes and how do you actually reduce all the complications of diabetes because people don't die from diabetes they die from or they suffer because of the complication and last but not least dr joel is going to show you how you can reverse your diabetes so stay with us throughout this whole process and the last part is the most important right how do you actually reverse diabetes all right so dr joel Let's jump in. Uh, okay. Could you start with the myths of diabetes? Because, you know, diabetes is something that we all have, but we sort of hear so much about it. But what is the truth about diabetes? What are some of the myths? Yeah, so there are many myths uh, concerning diabetes. Uh, one of them includes that uh, it is genetic. Actually, it's not genetic? It's not actually genetic. Um, you may have the risk to develop diabetes, Mm -hmm. However, the environment could actually influence the expression of these genes. Oh, wow. So, so it means that, uh, what about type 1 diabetic? I thought type 1 diabetes, you can't avoid it. You, uh, if you have it, you have it. So it's possible that you have it, but it doesn't get expressed? Usually, the type 1 diabetes could, be, could happen in those uh, babies who are actually exposed to uh, cow's milk. Oh wow! Really? Yeah. Cows? yeah. So not everyone, not every baby develops this though. But there are those who have this, um, what do you call this, similarities in the, in the genes. Okay. Yeah, between the pancreas and the milk. Mm -hmm. So basically, what happens is that the immune system begins attacking the pancreas because oh. of its similarity to the cow's milk. So, yeah, that's one of the possible causes of type 1 diabetes. So the first, first myth is that diabetes is actually, uh, being genetic is actually not really completely true? Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah, and our genes are like the um, barrel okay. of a gun. All and right. the, uh, and the environment is the trigger. Oh, okay. Uh, do you get what I mean? <laughs> I get what you mean. So it means that uh, you could load the gun and never shoot it as long as you don't pull the trigger. Yeah, so exactly. You carry the genes for diabetes, but you, mm -hmm. you never will develop diabetes if you don't have the environmental uh, factors that yes. switch it on. Epigenetics, yeah. right? It's, it's Epigenetics, yeah, that's the term. Wow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, so our environment really influences how we express our genes. So if we're on a pro-inflammatory diet, then a lot of these genes that we don't want to express, like the ones for, let's say, for cardiovascular disease or for diabetes, mm. um, 
then uh, then we can avoid it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, so the good news about this busting this myth that uh, diabetes is genetic is that you it gives control back to to you. To the right? we, we can decide whether or not we develop diabetes. Uh, it's mm -hmm. not our genes that decide it. Wow, yeah. that, that's that's control back to us. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what other myths are there in no. uh, with regards to diabetes? Yeah, the second one is that we're taught in medical school that diabetes is not reversible. Mm -hmm. However, in clinical practice, we see a lot of this. So, yeah, sometimes people just lose weight and their blood sugar improves. Some people go on a whole, whole food diet and their blood sugar improves. Some people exercise, which improves insulin sensitivity. And that also could reverse their diagnosis of diabetes. So there are a lot of things that could uh, actually help to reverse it. In fact, there's a doctor from the States. He just has his patients go on a raw food diet for two weeks. Whoa, and that would weeks. help. Yeah, wow, it would actually would help. help improve their <clears throat> blood sugar. Wow. So, wow, myth, myth number two is busted. You can actually reverse diabetes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, I mean, I, I was asking Dr. Joel, Doc, then why do, why do diabetologists and doctors think that diabetes cannot be reversed? Because that's what we often hear from them. Yeah, that's what we're taught actually in medical school. But in, in clinical practice, we see, we see diabetes reversed. Again, wow. by making some changes in diet or lifestyle. Wow, so it's really a difference between theory and uh, on the ground uh, experience. Yes, so exactly. In theory, we were taught that in med school, it was taught that uh, diabetes couldn't be reversed, but on the ground, uh, we've seen patients complete, actually reverse and recover permanently, right? Mm -hmm. like they're not reliant on drugs to, to be diabetic free, they are actually back to normal. Yeah. Wow, I think uh, reality is more important than theory. So that's good news. <laughs> yes. And actually, uh, science keeps on changing sometimes. Mm. Like for instance, like 30 years ago, we were told that nerves do not regenerate. Okay. But now we know that it does. Well, that, that has much implication for stroke patients and uh, yes. patients with paralysis, right? Wow, mm. that's good news. Yeah, that's where things like hyperbaric oxygen therapy or cell therapy comes in. Wow, that's great news. Yeah. Well, Doc, back to diabetes. What other <laughs> myths are you going to bust today? <laughs> well, people think that pre-diabetes is a problem only if it progresses to diabetes. Okay. But actually, uh, pre-diabetes has a lot of um, ongoing pathology already, so it needs to be addressed. Wow, okay. so. So this means that you don't just ignore, if you're borderline diabetic, don't ignore it, right? Yeah. Uh, so it means that just because you're borderline diabetic, diabetes is not the thing that you should really just worry about. Mm -hmm. It's actually starting uh, you down the road to all the way, I believe, to cancer, right? It's mm -hmm. like a precursor. Yeah. yeah. And the sooner you actually treat it, the better. Mm. Yes. Wow. That, that's, yeah. Get it done tonight, uh, today. So, watch this whole video because the last part, that's what you want. How to reverse your diabetic symptoms and your condition. Hallelujah. Uh, now, any other myths? Yeah, so people think that lowering blood sugar prevents cardiac events and reduces mortality. Hmm. But it is not so because according to one study called the ACCORD study, hmm. so um, strict blood sugar control actually may still cause an increased... Uh, incidence of cardiac events. Oh. So even if your blood sugar, let's say, has been within the normal range, people could still develop uh, heart attacks or hardening of the arteries, especially if underlying uh, pathologies or risk factors are not addressed. Like, uh, for instance, if there's chronic inflammation or if there's oxidative stress and these are not addressed in diabetics, then they could uh, develop more complications. Wow. So yeah, what you're saying and to all of viewers out there is if you're diabetic, if you control your blood sugar, you're not removing the real damage of diabetes. So it's an illusion, right? So 
just because your blood sugar is normal, it doesn't mean that all the risk of diabetes, which is a heart attack and all that, all that is still there. All you are doing is numbing the pain, sort of, right? You don't feel the pain, but the wound is still there. Mm -hmm. is, that, is, that the, is that a good analogy for what you're sharing? Yes. All right, that's great. <laughs> wow, powerful today, powerful. Um, what else, Doc? Yeah, weight loss is necessary for reversing diabetes. So it's not? It's not. Wow! <laughs> I'm sure there are many uh, audience right now jumping up on their chair and clapping their hands. <laughs> yeah, it's about improving your body composition. Okay. Yeah, so people need to increase their muscle mass. Ah. Burn more body fat. Okay, so it's we still can't eat losing... potato chips and sit on the couch. Yeah, because some people do lose weight, but they lose muscle instead. Okay. Yeah, and when you do that, it's harder to burn off fat. Right. You lose your muscles. Okay, so calm down, everybody. Dr. Joel is not giving you the permission to be fat. <laughs> if you're not late, like, you still got to, you to get healthy. All right, you got to get <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Doc, is that all? Um, uh, that's so as far as it's concerned. Wow. Okay, great. So now you know the myths of diabetes. Okay? It's, not just, uh, it's not genetic alone. That means you have control whether you develop it or not. All right. And uh, the rest of the myths are been busted. So uh, now we'll move on to the next topic, sugar. Because if we talk about diabetes, you cannot avoid sugar. So Doc, can you give us a lowdown, a brief about the truth about sugars? So with sugar, it's actually uh, harmful. This okay. one of the things that I learned from a few of my mentors. Okay. They say that white sugar especially is poison. It's poison. That's yeah. a very strong word. Yeah. Poison. <laughs> and wow. it's more addictive than heroin. Sugar, sugar. is more addictive <laughs> than heroin. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So people do crave for it. But again, it's something that's legal. So everybody has access to it. So is muscava sugar like healthier? I mean, are there sugars that we can eat? Yeah, there are better forms of sugar. Okay. So yeah, give us a brief thing on sugar. sugar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but in, anyways, uh, sugar in general is uh, inflammatory. Okay. Yeah, it also suppresses the immune system. Mm -hmm. It does suppress hormones as well, and it's generally acidic in nature. Mm. Yeah, so when you have high blood sugar, you have increased secretion of insulin. Okay. So if, if, we, are, if we are to eat sugar, what is the less or least harmful types of sugar that we can take? There are people who could actually uh, take uh, alternatives to sugar such as uh, stevia. Stevia, all right. Some use xylitol. Okay. And some use, uh, of course, uh, unfiltered honey. Honey, okay, honey, all right. Yeah. So it is, uh, what about muscava? I mean, brown sugar. I mean, brown now, sugar. Now, is, it, is it really much better than white sugar or is it like we're just fooling ourselves? <laughs> Supposedly better than white sugar. Okay. It's less refined. Okay. And uh, there's also something called cocoa sugar from coconut. Yes. Yeah. I haven't studied much about it, but it's supposedly good as well. Oh. A good oh, alternative. Right. But it, stevia, it, I mean, we had so much concerns with uh, artificial sweeteners like aspartame, which mm -hmm. turns out to be carcinogenic, right? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, is stevia, is stevia safe? Uh, or, or does it also have all the concerns of the other uh, sugar replacements? Is, is stevia a very a safe replacement for sugar? I believe so. It's something that's natural compared to the synthetic um, sugar alternatives, which by the way are excitotoxins. Okay. So what it does is that it excites your nerve cells until they die. Huh? So that's what, that's, that's what some of the synthetic sugar alternatives do. Wow. They have uh, what we call neurological complications. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. So there we go. Uh, Doc, thank you for the briefing on sugar. So, uh, okay, the only good sugars are honey. <laughs> honey, right? Honey, uh, uh, stevia, these yeah. are uh, alternatives. And if you really want to eat 
sugar, sugar, then uh, brown sugar, the less refined, the better. Uh, white sugar is just, as Doc Joel said, it's simply just poison, poison, poison. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, Doc, since we talk about sugar, you know, a diabetic has to test their sugar levels. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, if we really want to find out our true sugar level, what's the best way to test it? Yeah, um, for screening purposes, um, aside from the fasting blood sugar, we also check for insulin level, fasting insulin level. Okay. So if this is elevated, it could tell me that the person's developing insulin resistance. So when you have insulin resistance, that could lead to high blood sugar. So, so what, what kind of the, test do we do then for that? Yeah, it's called the fasting insulin level. Okay, fasting insulin level. Yeah. So for you who want to find out whether you're truly you're diabetic or not, uh, do test for your fasting insulin level, right? Because if you just test for blood sugar levels, sometimes it's just because you had a buffet or you ate too much chocolate. <laughs> right? Yeah. So that will not be an accurate test. All yeah. right. Wonderful. There is, yeah, yes. there's another one called hemoglobin A1C. Okay. Yeah, it tells us how your blood sugar has been for the last three months. So it tells us, a, gives us a better picture of what's really going on. And ideally, we want this at five or below. Okay, so that's the HB A1C test. Yeah. That one will show your blood sugar level for the last three months. So you can't cheat yourself. You can't go fast and then uh, have a good, healthy sugar level and say that I'm fine. <laughs> I know many husbands. Who's, uh, who knows that their wife are monitoring their blood sugar level. So they will purposely uh, uh, fast before they take the test so that the levels are healthy. Uh, then after that, they go eat what they want. Uh, so, so, okay, all the wives out there, make your husband go for the HbA1c test and that will show their blood sugar level for the last three months. All right, thank you, Dr. Well. Uh, yeah. That's a very definitive way to find out whether you're diabetic or not or whether you just had too much. Uh, chocolates in the last two hours. All right. So uh, <laughs> next is Doc. Can you share with us about the drugs that uh, diabetics are currently taking? What kind of drugs are on the market, and what are what are the positives and also perhaps the areas of concern on long term use of these drugs? Yeah, one of the most um, established medications used for diabetes is metformin, which mm -hmm. is an oral hypoglycemic agent. Okay. It's been around for a long time. It's relatively safe. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, but um, uh, some people may get some side effects from it, usually gastrointestinal. Okay. Like uh, they may have diarrhea from it. But uh, again, I think it should just be part of a complete picture of treating, mm -hmm. for treating diabetes. You can't just rely on it alone. But uh, as far as metformin is, is concerned, it's uh, yeah, it's relatively safe. Or, or is, yeah. there a, is there a limit to, let's say, metformin? I mean, why are there even other drugs for diabetes if metformin is, is so good? Is yeah, it, unfortunately, some people may not achieve um, optimal blood sugar control just using metformin alone. Oh, so metformin um, is, is, uh, is a safe drug, it's effective, but there's a limit to its effectiveness. Uh, and that's why there are other diabetic drugs on the market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Yeah, because some people cannot achieve optimal blood sugar control on just metformin alone. Oh, wow. Okay. So what are the other drugs that are currently on the market that are effective? Yeah, these are what we call uh, thiazolidine dions, which are PPAR agonists. Yay, that's what we have in Simply Nature PPARs, but <laughs> ours is natural. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, with the PPARs from Simply Nature, you don't get any of the side effects associated with the synthetic forms of the PPAR agonist. Wow, that's great news. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. Uh, how, but how do, the, um, how do these thiodiones work? I mean, what do they actually do for diabetics? Yeah, basically what they do is they upregulate your plasma adiponectin levels. Wow, there's another mouthful. <laughs> levels. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, Doc, um, let's move next to the actual solution part of our program. And I think in the next 15 minutes, 
uh, all the listeners tune in on this. This is so important. Doc uh, Joel is going to share how to reduce complications. What's the strategy to reduce complications from diabetes and also how to reverse diabetes in your life. Uh, so Doc, please share with us, enlighten us. Uh, what are the complications from diabetes and how, what are some strategies we use to reduce uh, those complications? Yeah, first off, you want to decrease the consumption of high glycemic index foods. Okay. Yes, yeah, so the higher gl the glycemic index, the poorer your blood sugar control. All right. Yeah, and of course, it's important to avoid hydrogenated oils or trans fats. Okay. But that could also contribute to hardening of the arteries. All right. Because the complication from diabetes is cardio, yeah. cardio problems, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So... Uh, I would also add uh, this uh, following supplements, including omega-3 fatty acids. Right. Those are very good, healthy, good for your immune system. From I learned that from your last uh, video with us, that you were talking yeah. about it's important for the immune system. Yeah. And then, of course, there are minerals that, like uh, uh, zinc or chromium. Wow. And magnesium that actually could help with blood sugar control. Wow, okay. So zinc, chromium, magnesium. Wow. Yeah. If you want to know the actual dosage that you need to take uh, every day to, to re reduce the complications, how much magnesium you need, how much chromium you need, then click on the link below okay, uh, because Dr. Joel has prepared a guide uh, for you so, so that you don't have to try and remember. So just click on the link below, uh, visit Dr. Joel's webpage and his Facebook page as well. Uh, that will also be available there. All right. So, okay. Yes, Doc. Yeah. Um, taking natural anti-inflammatory agents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like omega, well, omega-3 is one of them, but uh, curcumin or turmeric. Oh, wow. wow. Uh, they're what we call natural anti-glycation agents. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one example of this is uh, something we call carnosine. Carnison. All right. Yeah. Okay. Basically, what it does is that it prevents the attachment of sugar to protein molecules. Mm. Because if it does that, excessive sugar, uh, let's say if it attaches to the protein in the eye, could cause cataracts. Oh, okay. So that's where the complications of uh, diabetes comes, you know, yeah. blindness and all these things. Yeah. So, so that's that's oh, so that's how we reduce the complication. Wow. Yes, and aesthetically too, uh -huh. uh, this sugar is, could actually affect your collagen molecules, causing wrinkles. So if you want to age slower, avoid the sugar. <laughs> okay, women alert, women alert. All right, you just heard the most uh, important reason why you should not be diabetic. You will grow and grow old faster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. And of course, the use of antioxidants is really important because there's a lot of oxidative stress going on in diabetics. All right. So, Doc, this is how we reduce the complications. So, uh, you highlighted the strategy and approach. Uh, in, your, in, our, in the guide, you will actually give more concrete uh, numbers on what to do. So, everybody, remember, click on the link if this is interesting to you. Uh, click on the link, share it with your loved ones who are diabetic or borderline diabetes. Uh, now, Doc, let's go to the holy grail of all diabetics. How do we reverse diabetes? Yeah, so um, you want to reverse it through the use of, of course, a dietary approaches. Okay, dietary. Dietary approaches, eating more of an anti-inflammatory diet. Mm. Basically, more plant-based, less meat, in general. And, and just like that, we can reverse diabetes? There's actually a doctor in the States. Um, I forgot his name offhand, but he has, a, he has like a resort somewhere in Arizona where people come in with diabetes. And they go on a um, raw food diet for about two weeks and their blood sugar actually improves once they check out. Wow, wow. Doc, so what's your personal experience as a physician with diabetes? Yeah, um, well, a lot of people do more of an integrative approach. Okay. So they do take their medications, but aside from that, 
they, we also treat the underlying issues that's seen in more diabetics. Like for instance, they have, they have a lot of oxidative stress. Mm. So make sure that they take antioxidants, mm. like improve their, oh, glutathione is one of the endogenous antioxidants in mm. our bodies. It's mo the most powerful antioxidant produced in our bodies. Mm. However, as we age, there's decreased production of this glutathione. Wow. Um, yeah. So to correct that, uh, orally, people could take a supplement called NAC mm. and acetylcysteine, mm. and that could help raise glutathione levels. Wow. So doc, if you could, uh, to, to reduce complication and to reverse diabetes, could you just give us a list right now, run through a list, a quick one, maybe in just a minute or two, of some yeah. of the things that we need to look out for. So, yeah, so yeah. Um, most importantly, you have to address the oxidative stress. So the antioxidants include glutathione, vitamins A, C, D, and E. Wow. You can, and alpha lipoic acid, and bioflavonoids and carotenoids. All right, so that's yeah. the magic list. You've got to uh, look for that every time you are looking for a supplement when you go to the, the, the shops to, 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 to get your supplements, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd like to mention um, alpha lipoic acid or LA, ALA. Mm -hmm. It's something that's really good for the neuropathies that you see in diabetics. Ah, for your nerves. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So uh, usually I would recommend between 300 to 900 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid per day. And that's really found to be effective in neuropathies. Wow. Wow. So, wow. We've covered everything. You've shared the holy grail. You've shared the, what we need to. And I'm so shocked, Doc, that uh, to reverse diabetes is, is, is not rocket science. It's not so difficult. Yeah, and that's why an integrative approach works better mm -hmm. than either conventional or alternative approaches. It's best to combine the two because you get benefits from both conventional and uh, what we call complementary alternative medicine. Yeah. You know, uh, Doc, I think the thing, that big take home that I, I saw today was that even though metformin is, is great, uh, drugs can control your blood sugar, um, but it doesn't absorb you from the risk of all the complications from diabetes. Um, yeah. yeah, you know, so even like, and it's so uh, pertinent now in the COVID season, right? You Because you're taking your your drugs, your blood sugar is normal, but you are still, you still belong to the high risk group from uh, mortality from COVID-19 because uh, the underlying problems are still there. You're just, uh, it's, so it's only a symptomatic approach when we take drugs for diabetes. Mm -hmm. So, so please make, if you want, go make an appointment with Dr. Joel so that Dr. Joel can advise you on how you can continue to manage your diabetes with the current medication that you have, but also at the same time, uh, also at the same time, be able to uh, reverse your diabetes and one day be off the drugs. Doc, you had something you wanted to say? Yeah, I wanted to add more, a yeah. couple of things okay. for uh, reducing complications. Okay. So besides the antioxidants, there are natural anti-glycation agents. Mm. I did mention carnosin earlier. Mm. Other things that could help include the B vitamins, thiamine, as well as methylcobalamin. Oh, wow. And alpha lipoic acid. And then finally, uh, natural anti inflammatory agents include curcumin, ginger, quercetin, bromelain, and boswella. Wow, that's a very exhaustive list. If you didn't catch all of that, uh, we will have that in the guidebook uh, in, in, the, in the link below. So uh, please click on it um, so that you can get the full knowledge of what Dr. Joel is sharing. Yeah, and also um, just to emphasize, uh, the PPARS is the very uh, nutrient dense or nutrient rich uh, supplement. So you could actually get all these vitamins and minerals in the PPARS to help uh, reverse. Wow. 
So actually, all the things that you've listed um, is found naturally in uh, Simply Nature's PR tablets. Yeah. So that's a quick way to get everything that you want naturally, uh, not a synthetic vitamin, uh, but a natural one. Uh, wow, wonderful. That's great news for everybody. It's an easy way to start. Yeah. Way to start. So doc, uh, just for uh, our audience out there, uh, now is a COVID pandemic. Do, so do you do uh, teleconsult or even group consults? Yeah, we do online consultations. Okay, how, how would our audience get in touch with you to do consults? Yeah, they could check out my website at jlopezmd.com. Our phone numbers would be... Yeah, okay, there you go. It's flashed on the screen. <laughs> All right, so uh, click on the link if you want to consult and uh, you can reverse diabetes. So that myth is busted and you can have a healthy life. Um, again, don't don't ignore diabetes. It's very dangerous because if you have diabetes, it really means that you are on track to ultimately the worst the worst scenario is that you're on track to developing cancer. So diabetes is just a precursor. So don't ignore it. It's your body telling you something. Uh, diabetes in itself is not the most scary thing. It's it's hinting that you're on the road to something. Uh, really horrible if you don't change. So uh, cancer being the ultimate uh, boogeyman, right? So as Dr. Joel uh, advised, uh, even if you're a borderline case, uh, get it completely reversed. So you're not only reversing diabetes, you're reversing your risk of getting cancer. You're reversing your risk of getting a cardiac arrest. You're reversing all that thing, all these things. Um, am I right, Dr. Joel? You're right. <laughs> yeah. So again, don't delay, make a teleconsult uh, with Dr. Joel um, and uh, get to the bottom of it, nip the, the thing in the butt and have a very, very healthy life, healthy and long life. Uh, Dr. Joel, any last words um, for our viewers before you sign off for today's program? Yeah, once again, I'd like to thank, uh, thank you and um, of course, Simply Nature for having me. And... Um, a lot of things things are important, uh, the dietary and lifestyle changes. But uh, of course, spiritually, we also have to pray. That's really very important. The most important, actually. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Joel. Um, you are right. That is the most important. I'm the ultimate healing comes from God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you so much, Dr. Joel. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Joel, for that wonderful session on diabetes. I'm sure all of you have a clear idea now that you know uh, it doesn't matter about your genetics. So even if you have genes that are diabetic, if it runs in your family, uh, Dr. Joel has myth, busted that myth, you can lead a diabetic-free life. Hallelujah. Uh, Dr. Joel also shared that you can reduce the complications of diabetes, and more importantly, you can actually reverse diabetes. Joel also shared what are the vitamins and minerals that you need in your diet to naturally reverse diabetes. And he talked about first. And the good news is that everything, almost everything that Dr. Joel uh, specified that was required to reduce the complications of diabetes and to reverse diabetes can be found in our PIPA tablets. All right, it can be found in our PIPA tablets. Everything you see there, you need niacin, you need this, everything can be found in our PIPA tablets. So that's a great place to begin uh, your fight and your reversing of your diabetes condition. And of course, we all, at Simply Nature, we always encourage you to go on this journey with a doctor so that you will have uh, someone that can guide you and will tell you exactly where you are and will be able to certify you when you are totally healed. So do use Simply Nature PPR tablets and soft gels to combat your to reverse your diabetes. And do go to Dr. Joel so that you can get that endorsement and confirmation when you are successful with all your treatments, all right? So again, join us next time as we talk about another exciting topic that's important to you and your family. So have a great uh, week ahead.